mask like delete this mask here you know what i can do actually hmm. a little bit of a complicated over like i i don't want to over complicate it but i can call this mask and maybe if anyone here doesn't know how to use anchor points i can show them like now how to use it basically i can make a, an anchor point here and I can reference and basically, or maybe even explain why it's useful to have this. But basically, if I make my mask here, and let's say I copy my filter from here, because I can copy, you can copy filters, which is awesome. So now I have this here, right? Set this to normal, this is my mask. And I can add a paint layer. And let's say I'm going to use some kind of paper brush alpha. Let's say, let's say I use this one, turn on my size jitter, flow jitter and angle jitter, turn on flow on the Turn on the flow um, brush sensitivity. Set this to black because you can press X to change your color, by the way. Let's say I want the scratches to be more noticeable on the forearm, right? So I can paint my mask here. But the whole, yeah, you will see why I, you'll see why this is useful with the anchor. Um, the anchor brush uh, with the anchor feature so yeah i'm painting my layer here and let's say because imagine she blocks an attack like this right so forearm where's the camera here forearm is gonna take the blow take the take the hit so that's where i want it, I, that's where I want basically my scratches to be more noticeable and let's say shoulder area so I'm just gonna paint out those two areas it's, let's say shoulder area and generally mm, let's say elbows because if you fall or you hit your you hit against something, maybe she will use her elbow to attack as well. So then the elbow area is the part that also gets scratches, right? So here elbows, forearm and shoulder. Those are the areas that generally get most of the hits. I will paint out this part for now because I actually want to Because I actually want to uh, get that with another texture. So I'll paint this kind of grayish. Okay. And now I can create an anchor point here. And we're going to call this our scratch mask. And then in here, I can make a fill layer and I will just call this my mask. The PNT is just paint. So this is the mask I painted. And then here in grayscale, I can click. Ah, oh, you cannot see that now. Great. But if you click on grayscale, you can choose between resources and anchor points and I click on anchor points and then I click on scratch mask. And now basically it's using the mask that I made here. So I set this to 
nothing because I don't want this mask to do anything on its own. I just made this mask on an empty layer basically. So then I can use this mask here as an anchor point. So it's basically taking all the information and that's stored underneath the anchor point here. And it will reference it wherever I make a fill layer where I, and select this anchor point. So that's how you can basically... Because the my thought was, I wish I could just paint this mask. I like what this mask is doing. I wish I could just get rid of this part here. So that's how you can.